Turasoma gitabo cy'abahiburayo. We're going to read in Hebrew. Ibice ni 12. Chapter 12. Bichani chumina bibiri turahera eh ku murongo wa gatanu chapter 12 verse 5 Praise the Lord Manshi tugeze ku 11 bibiliya iravuga ngo kandi mwibagiye kwa guhugura kubabwira nk'abana ngo Mwana wanje ntugasuzugura igihano witeka hana kandi ntugwisari nagucya kuko uwiteka kunze ari wahana kandi akubita ibiboko abo yemera bose kwa rabana be ni mwihanganira ibihano muba mugaragaje ko muri abana b'Imana mbese ni mwana ki udahanwa na se ariko niwe mudahanwa nk'abandi bose noneho muba muri ibi byarwa mutarabana nyakuri ko dufite ba data batubyaye ku mubiri bakaduhana natwe tukabubaha tidukwiriye kurushaho cyane kugandukira se w'imyuka tugahoraho kuko babandi baduhanaga iminsi mike nkuko byari bibabereye byiza naho uwo aduhanira kugira ngo bitubere byiza dusangire kwera kwe nta gihano kinezeza ugihanwa ahubwo kimutere umubabaro ariko rero hanyuma Cheri mbuto zogu kira anuka zihesha mahoro aba menyeri gwena cho amena. And have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline and don't give up, don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. As you endure this divine discipline, remember that God is treating you as his own children. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by his by its father, if God doesn't discipline you as he does all of his children, it means that you are illegitimate and are not really his children at all. Since we respected our earthly fathers who disciplined us, shouldn't we submit even more to the discipline of the father of our spirits and live forever? For our heavenly for our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God discipline is always good for us so that so that we might share in his holiness. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful, but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. Amen. 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 Ijambo tugiye kuganira ni ijambo rivuga ngo igihano cy'ubumana ni impuhwe the theme for tonight is divine discipline as God's compassion. The compassion of God goes together with the discipline of God. Amen. 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 What shows that someone is a child of God is that he disciplines that person. That's what verse 6 is saying. Kandi akubita kiboko. Rero si kimwe. Aha nibyo. Ngo akubita ibiboko abo yemera bose kwa rabana. For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. Umwana udahanwa na se. A child who is not disciplined by his father. Ntabaruwe. Is not is illegitimate. Icyerekana umwana kwa ruwase. What shows that a child is of the father? No kumuhana is that he disciplines. But if you don't discipline that child, that is not your child. So the compassion of God is also in his discipline. He disciplines you and afterwards he forgives you. He has compassion. He has mercy. Because after that discipline you bear fruit. Nicho giuza kubzumva bati ya burya bambuzaga ibi kubera ibi bintu That's when you understand they forbade me to do this because of this Birago y'umuntu kumubuza icyashaka ariko iyo yemeye akakireka 
nyuma ni huamenya ko cya kintu cyari kibi it's hard to keep someone from doing something but when they agree they will find out later that it was bad bibiri nabwo ngo kandi mwebwe mwibagiwe kwa guhugura kubabwira nk'abana ngo mwana wanje ntugasuzugure igihano uwiteka hari the bible says and have you forgotten the encouraging words that God spoke to you as children he said my child don't make light of the lord's discipline mwana wanje ntugasuzugure igihano uwiteka hana kandi ntugwisari nagucyaha my child don't make light of the lord's discipline and don't give up when he corrects you uzicyo bivuze do you know what this means if you love if you are in love with God and he loves you he is jealous of you and when he's jealous of you he disciplines you he corrects you because he does not want anything to take you he doesn't want anything to take your mind when something is about to take you he disciplines you ushobora kubimenya nkuko utabimenye you may know it or not ariko nyuma but after ugende ubona consequences z'ubuzima you find the consequences in your life ukabura amahoro and you don't have peace ukabura ibyishimo you don't have joy ugakora ibintu you do things kumva bidacamo that are not working kuberiki why uri mu gihano cy'Imana because you are in the discipline of god igihano cy'Imana kiraryana kurusha cy'umubyeyi the discipline of god is more painful than does the that of a parent imani yugukunda when God loves you, he disciplines you. He, when he doesn't love you, he leaves you alone. Even someone who loves you will correct you. Will tell you the truth. Someone who doesn't love you, they say let them do it and they're going to learn from their mistakes. That person doesn't love you. But another person will tell you this is how it's supposed to go. This is not right. This is not right. And you fuse or you accept. So when God disciplines us, he does it as a parent. Kuko urukundo rwayo ntirwemera ko tuba mu makosa because his love does not allow us to be impuhwe z'Imana at fault the compassion of God zemera ko idukubita ibiboko allows him to uh, chastise us ariko nano ni kwemerika duhiberi but he also breastfeed us iyo umubye yakubisa umwana when a mother punishes the child akana gakarira and the child cries agahoresha ibere he uh, comforts the child she comforts the child and the child is comforted, child is comforted while breastfeeding it's hard to understand the mother and the child the mother punishes the child and he cries and then the, the child comes crying to the mother and the mother comes and brings her and she, she breaks it and he beat her again because he's hurting they are children who bite they bite the breast of their mother and they beat their child and they cry and he gives her the breast again again. It's like they are playing. But that's how compassion works. Compassion punishes and it breastfeeds. But the discipline of God it is to put us on the right path. Why? God has a pathway that he has stressed on your, for your life. God has said you are going to go through this. And you're going to get there. This is where your peace Everything is. Everything that you need. Everything that you need. Everything that you need for Everything peace. Everything, Everything that brings you to be great. It is in this pathway. And then. You try to go in the other way. That is where I want to Hariya go. That is where I feel like I want to go. Kanji, I have a friend there. Hariya I have a friend there. And you go that way. Imana ya reba muri yinzira. And when God looks at this path, there's nothing that he prepared for Ta you. Yagu you have no peace. You have no joy. Na, na you have nothing that uplifts you. Murio. There's no wealth. Everything we, belongs to you. So you are going to the wrong Kumere direction. And because of the love of God, kubita. he punishes you. Kubita. And when he punishes you, you turn and you go in the right path. That is the compassion of God. Praise God. Ibzaha. So sin causes God to, to punish us. When you live in sin, 
iragukubita he punishes you kuberiki why is that irashaka ko we nawe he wants you and him to be one and for him to lead you and and since they want to take you away from God's way they want to take you from God's plan and this hurts God and he takes a stick and he says I'm going to beat him and if they break I'm going to fix them and God will beat you until you break and then he will heal you <laughs> praise God the children of Israel say one time God punished them he beat them from the so the, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. In Isaiah chapter one. He said from the sole of their feet to the top of their head, they are all, they are hurt. He beat them seriously. And when he finished, and he said, even though your Sins are red as scarlet. I will make them as white as snow. That is the love of God. Even though you go far, you will come back. There are people who are difficult who don't want to be saved or who became saved and they don't want to change. Those people are difficult. We have prayed for them so they are waiting for the discipline of God. And when God beats them, they are going to come back. When he beats you, you don't find anything to heal you. There is no painkiller for that. Unless you go back to the world. So a child who is wise, he uh, stays away from this. Some children are afraid of being punished. And they do quickly what he's supposed to do. Because they are afraid of being beaten. There are some who cry before you even beat them. Those also exist. And there are others who are hard-headed. You hit them and they look at you in your face. They say, hit again. Those who are hard-headed also <laughs> exist. But no one can be hard-headed hard -head in this God. God. God gets to a point where he exposes you and he beats you and he puts you in the right way and you come. It is hurt, is painful, but we must bear with it. On verse 7, as you endure the, dis, the divine discipline, you show that you are children of God. Whoever heard of a child who is never disciplined by his father? Normally, when the father punishes you, you don't just get up and leave the house. You come back home. Every child must bear with the punishment of their father. But a child who was adopted, who have their own family, they just go back to their family. And you find that this was not our child. And you punish them so that you can make him into a man. But they will run away from no him. So it's the same in the house of God. There are people we chastise and they go to different church. And they still have punishment on their And they think that going to another church is going to take away the punishment. It is like a bad blood. Uh, blood that is infected whether you go to different countries you are going to be keep your infection if you have been disciplined in a church and you go in another church the discipline is going to follow you and where you will be disciplined is where they are going to take away the discipline so for you to find peace you must come back to the same place do you hear me? 
a child of the house is punished in the house and is restored in the house. So God punishes us as parent. If God doesn't discipline you as he does all his children, it means that you are illegitimate and are not he, really his children at all. Illegitimate. This is a child who is not accepted or who is not of that house. Uzabona Mubuzima Mubisraeli Kesh Barakwit Kwaganima. You will find in the history of the Israelites that they were all, they were punished by God many times. And they asked themselves, why us? It was because God loved them. It's because God had compassion upon them. It's because he had compassion on them. There are things that you may do with your own strength, with your own mind and they don't go through. You must examine how am I with God? Sometimes God closes doors so that you can come back. And he closes every door. When you have your mind, you have your strength, you have your and you don't find a way. Did you know that a blessing is a gift of God? Because the blessing comes from God. If he closes it, you may use all your, your ways. You may use all your mind. It doesn't go through. Do you know what God is looking for? He wants you to stop what you are doing. That you may go in his way. And God is going to bless you. Yes, Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Bibiri iravuga ku murongo wa 11 ngo nta gihano kinezeza ugihanwa ngo ahubwo kimutere umubabaro ngo ariko rero hanyuma cera imbuto zo gukiranuka zihesha amahoro abamenyerejwe nacyo No discipline is enjoyable while it's happening it's painful but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in his way Igiano cyose kirababaza Every discipline is painful. Ariko. Iyo kivuyemo. Uranezerwa. But when you finish, when you go to the other side, you are joyful. Turi mu bihugu abana badahanwa ahubwo bahabwa makado iyo bakoze ibyaha kugira ngo munegosiye. Ati ndaguhaka kantu ariko wicara. We are in a country where people children are not disciplined. Instead they are given gifts or rewards so that they can Negotiate. Negotiate. Yes. Please study. I will give you money if you succeed. I will buy you some uh, games if you do this. <laughs> That's why <laughs> people are messed up. <laughs> we don't have good people. We have just robots. <laughs> we just have robots or computers. <laughs> it used to be that when a parent looks at a child in a certain way, they will correct themselves. But now they look at you back. They look back at you. Now the child looks at you and you, the parent, are the one who corrects yourself. Because because now you leave negotiating, asking him to do something that is beneficial to them. It's terrible. The Bible says, punish your child, discipline your child, and there will be fruit afterwards. No discipline is enjoyable. No. 
kaunga ati okay icara mu cyumba nturye inza rika mu guguna ijoro ryose arara tekiza atari ko kuki inza rimwe ndye nuko ntakoze kibiye ewa ejo nza nza gikoresha amaboko namaguru kugira ngo ndye donc ya discipline ituma atangira kumva ko yari mu makosa ariko yutamuha ya discipline tamenya makosa so you punish your child and at, when they are thinking at night they remember that it is because they didn't do that and the next day they are going to correct themselves if you don't do that they are going to continue to make the same mistake imana rero so god nayo idushira muri discipline yayo puts us in his discipline ikatwambura umunezero and he removes the joy ikatwambura ibyishimo he removes the happiness and umunezero ufite and you live with no joy in your life ukaba wabu ufite ibizu you may have houses ufite ibintu you may have things ukabura wa munezero but you don't have the joy kubera iki why imana yagufatiye ambargo ya mahoro because god has taken your peace away from you imana gashora ko kwima umunezero ukisetse ukikirigita wenyine bikanga can take away the joy and you are going to try yourself and it's not going to work ukinezeza ukibzinisha wapi you dance you do everything you can but ukereka abantu ko ahibizi byuyi wishimye ariko mu mutima ubiza ati ndapfuye wampa kakanezero nagira and you show people that you are happy you are sweating you are dancing but you don't have ambargo y'Imana irakomeye so the embargo of god ariko y'Imana yabikoze but when god has done it bikora nubu umujinya he doesn't do it with anger bikora nubu gome he doesn't do it with a bad intent bikora na compassion he does it because of his compassion dori chaba yo munsi so this is what happened mu israel among the israelites bakomeje gukinisha imana they continue to play with god Okay, what I believe in God. And they say to God, "Turashaka natwe kumera nk'abandi." We want to be like other people. Kumera nk'abandi niki? What did that mean to be like kugira umwami wabo? Is to have their own king. Akabaganiriza. For them to discuss. To be used by him. Kugeza igihe babami babazana ibigirwa amana. Until those kings brought idols to them. Imana ya Israeli barayirukana. And the God of Israel was taken out. Imana ijya kure. And God went far. Imana barayimira. God was banned. Nayo yerekera irage. And he left and left them. Buke baja kurugamba. And the next day they came to Bagiye war. Kurugwana. When they went to fight. Abanzi barabakubita kweli. The enemies uh, overtake them. Bakibana ni Imana. When they were still with God. Imana yabwe ngo mwihagararire gusa ndabakubita mure. God would say just stand here and I will fight for you. Cyangwa se gakoresha umusore muto gusa yatera umwambu umwe hagapfa abandi gihumbi bo bakagira ngo intware ngo yari intware ngo yateye umwambu umwe hapfa gihumbi tibamenye ko arakambi k'Imana yagi ikoresha abantu bagapfa or he would use a young man to uh, shoot an arrow and people would die and they would just be confident in the young man umunsi umwe bava kuma and one day they left God kirwa bakora ibibi and they would do evil baja kurugamba kurwa and they went to fight bagezeyo barapfa benshi When they got there they died. Baragaruka. They say what? Tikanaka yapfu. They say this and so and so died. Tikanaka yapfu. And so and so died. Tikanaka yapfu. And so and so died. Tikanaka. Truly this person died. The one who used to fight. The one who used to be strong. They killed him. Okay. Reka dusubire mu rusengero. He say let's go back to the church. Bateru isanduku ry'Imana. They took the cup the ark of God. Okay. No ne ho mwumve. Mugende muri gikoreye mujye imbere yabanzi. So go with the ark of the covenant in front of the enemy. Rirabamara. And it's going to uh, destroy them. Isanduku rirashe. And the ark of God the covenant. Umwanzari rukanja rarifashe. And the enemy went and took it. Afashe na baryikoreye arabishe. And he took those who were carrying it killed them. Isanduku bararijyanye. The ark of the covenant was taken. Bagarutse biruka. They came back running. Babwira umutware wara. And they said the, the leader They said the ark of the covenant is gone. And your, and your children are and those those were people who carried it. They said the ark of the covenant is gone. And the men died at the same time. Israel. So Israel lived without the ark. Without a high priest. Without a judge. Even those who were supposed to follow they went missing Kuberiki. why imana yari yataje ubugongo because god has give, had given them their hanyuma ibiboko birabakubita and they were faced with challenges barakubita they were kugeza igihe haje nka basamwel until someone like samuel came abanza gusaba imana imbabazi and he asked god for forgiveness 
agarura umwuka mwiza mu gihugu and he brought back a good spirit in the in the bagiye kurwana when they went to fight barasinda they overcome batsinze when they overcame kuboko kwima the hand of god kuremerera abanzi bawo was heavy upon their enemies kuko bari kumwe nabagabo bakundima because they were with people who loved god and who feared god yes ashimwe cyane praise god igiye israel itakoraga neza when israel would do evil yarakubitwa they would be beaten yakora na when they would do yakora nabi gakubitwa yakora neza iman kayigirira neza when they would do well god would bless them umunsi umwe iman yavuga tumbare bari yanduje cyane bari yanduje cyane and god said that they have defied themselves so much bakora ibyaha byinshi they have sinned so much mu buryo batagitandukanye nandi mahanga in such a way that i cannot differentiate them from other people no no ko ibyo bakunze and because of that's what they love to do ngiye kubareka I'm going to leave them. Bagende. I'm going to let them go. And they are going to continue to defile themselves. Instead of defiling the country that I've put my name in. I'm going to leave them and have them go to with these habits. Instead of defiling my dwelling place. And they were taken to Babylon. The child the Chaldeans uh, took them. Uzi cyabaye barabajyana. Imana irabahana irabareka. And God let the Chaldeans take them into exile. Kuko niko basaga. Because that's what they wanted to look like. Imirimo yabo yasaga ni yabakarudane. Their works were like the works of the Chaldeans. Kugeza igihe Imana ivuga ngo aba nabana banje. Until God said these are not my children. In my house in my dwelling place. No. Reka ndeke baje aho basana. I'm going to let them go where they want to look Uko like. Israel That's how Israel went. Because the works they were doing are the works of the Chaldeans. The works of the, the, the deeds of they were doing, the habits, they were doing the same as the Chaldeans. They say, go and find those Chaldeans. When they got there, the Chaldeans took them they hurt them they mistreated them they say you say you are children of God if you are unfortunate to meet someone who left God uh, that person is in bache because he's not accepted in the world or in the church. And he, try, he tries to do more sins than the pagans so that they can accept him. The pagans will drink two beers and he will drink eight beers to prove them that he's with them. If you see someone who is heavily involved in sin, ask them if they have ever been saved because they try so hard to identify with the world. So those ones are mistreated by the world and they are beaten by the world and they don't have peace. Babige. And that's what happened with Muri the Chaldeans. In Isaiah 47 verse 5 to 7 Let's look at the compassion and the mercy of God. Ichara ucheceke uje mu mwijima kuko utazongera kwitwa umugabe kazi wabami narakari y'ubwoko bwanje suzugura gakondo yanje ndabakugabiza ti wababarira na hato abasaza ubashira ku gahato gakomeye cyane karindwe uravuga uti nzaba umugabe kazi teka ryose ibyo nti wabyitayeho kandi nti wibuka iherezo rya O beautiful Babylon, sit now in darkness and silence. Never again will you be known as the queen of kingdoms. For I was angry with my chosen people and punished them by letting them fall into your hands. 
But you, Babylon, showed them no mercy. You oppress even the elderly. You said, I will reign forever as queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about their consequences. Amen. God said, Babylon, Babylon, I have been angry with my people and have beaten them and have given them so that you can beat them. But you exaggerate. Listen to the compassion of God. I have given them to correct you. But you beat them and I was hurt. And for that reason, I'm going to beat you. You will no longer be called queen. You are going to go down in darkness because I gave you my people. Did, you, did I give them so that you can kill me? I I wanted you to correct them, but you exaggerated. Even in the discipline of God, there is compassion. Praise God. God is hurt that they were beaten too much. Even the elders. Even the elderly. You beat until you beat the elderly. No, no, no. They say no. I have given you life, so I'm re removing this life. So this is how God works with you. When you have been afflicted, and you have been disciplined by him, he his compassion causes him to beat those who have been oppressing you and you re his love is revealed that way. Amen. Amen. I have been angry with my people. And I have... And I have For I was angry with my chosen and punished them by letting them fall into your hands. But you, Babylon, showed them no mercy. You oppressed even the elderly. Brethren, the punishment of God exists. But remember that in his mercy and in his compassion, he remembers to forgive. In his discipline, there is a compassion of God. In his anger, there is the discipline of God. In Habakkuk 3, on verse 2, he says, in your anger, remember to forgive. In your anger, Remember to forgive. When God is angry, His wrath goes together with His compassion. That's why we are not extinct. When He takes us, because He's strong, His compassion tells Him, let them go. And he, re he leaves them. Because he still has a plan with you. God has, has a plan for you. In his mercy, when he punishes you, he's with you. Did you know that God would take you to the ditch and he take you to the belly of the fish and go with you? Yona! Jonah went down and went with the compassion of God. That means the compassion no of God, mibazo. even in the troubles, no even in the grief, no even when he has punished you, he comes, he comes to visit you in prison. Imagine putting someone in jail and visiting them every day. That's how God is. He went and lived with Jonah in the belly of the fish. When he had, he, had, he, had, he had put him there. You need to know that So you must know that the discipline of God, the, his compassion does not allow him to abandon you. 
He cannot abandon. Abanu iyo bigu komera nyebara guhumba. When things are difficult, people run away from you. Bose baka kuihakan. Everyone. Nishuti zawe zeka guchau ngao zita kuz. Even your friends pretend like they don't know you. Are you kimana you? Ti kuhana. But God does not forsake you. And he knows that he punished you. But he visits you. After he punished Adam and Eve, he clothed them. He clothed them. That's the compassion of God. God knows that you are in He knows that you are drunkard. But he keeps you from an accident. He says, let my drunkard not have an accident. And you, you drive and he puts an angel around you so that you don't have an accident. That's a compassion. You go and steal in this kind in the country of law and God keeps you so that they don't take you or they don't uh, kill you. Because God does not define you in your present, but He defines you in your future. Because He knows the things if he looks at you in your present, he will destroy you. But because he has so much compassion, he sees you in the future and he sees you getting to your destination. Ikindi ibi hano zima kubuzima bwawe. You the pa- ibi hano zima na igushira. The discipline of God ni your deliverance. Is your deliverance. Ii mani guhani yebuti. Ibi gu kuyevo ikinu gikome ye yifuza ko winjira umugambi wa. When God disciplines you, he's taking away something that is strong on you so that you can enter his plan. So the life of discipline gives us our deliverance. When God punishes you, he gives you discipline and you walk in his plan and you are set free. Deliverance Deliverance is brought by punishment. There are punishments that are salvation. Some people are punished for many of us, had we not been sick, we would not have been saved. Had we not been poor, or if we had no problems, we would have never been saved. Some of us go through things so that God can save us. The punishments of God open doors that take us into our future. Your tomorrow is bright. Your tomorrow is bright. Why? Because God disciplined you. The, the staff or the, sti- the staff of God on your life has put you in the right path. Yes, it did not end there. Every journey we go with God, He has a discipline. And the level he wants us to get. There are things that he teaches he us and he corrects us so that we can get to that level. My friend, do not be, do not be frustrated by what you're going through. Do not be frustrated by your, the war you're going through. There is a door of God that is going to take you into your tomorrow. Your tomorrow that God has prepared for you. Instead, praise God. God. Man. Say, God, had you not done this to me, I would have not been like this. But God did this because he's a sovereign God. He doesn't consult you. He knows what you are supposed to do. He knows what you are supposed to go. Praise God. A parent can 
prepare for you because he knows your tomorrow and you refuse but when you accept you get that transformation if you don't accept you never get there so God has his life in your hand he knows what you're supposed to be what you're supposed to do so he does punish you so that you can continue in that path. So the punishment of God shows that we are his legitimate children. Do not reject God's punishment but receive it because it's going to create fruit in your life. That's going to help you in your tomorrow. Brethren, may God bless you. May God teach you to know him. May you know his ways. In his compassion, there is a punishment. We spoke on that there is a sword. There is a sword that shows us his compassion, but there is also his discipline. When God says, I have mercy upon you, I have compassion upon you, there is also his staff or his punishment. I don't wish that you be punished because it's very hurtful. I want you to be good children who obey God, who serve God, and he's going to bless you. Say bye to the punishment, to the no, discipline, no and be a good child. Receive the, ch <laughs> the punishment no if you are a bad child. A bad child, you cannot, you cannot pray discipline away from a bad child. It is not done by prayer. It is done by changing your lifestyle. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. And may he do good to you. Let's stand up and pray. Kera wa wara menewe no nubu no nubu gwihi shemo umu ji ji nyawi ma no nubu no no nubu gwihi shemo umu ji Nyawima Amazi Amazi Namaraso Yomuru Vavurguawe Binkizu God, we come before you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, God, that in your compassion you punish us as a children. But when it's painful, you come back with compassion. You remember us and you bless us. I show you, my brethren, who are going through punishment. Remember in your wrath to forgive them. It is what your word says. Habakkuk 3.2 That in your mercy, in your anger, remember your compassion. Let your compassion, Lord, come upon your children. Let others be 
are able to continue in obedience. Bless them. Let your spirit be with them. And bless them in all things. We thank you that you are great. Continue to bless us and to support us in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. We are about to go home. Go with us. Give us good dreams and wake us up in the morning that we may serve in this morning. In Jesus' name.